Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We've got leaked documents out of Amazon revealing some pretty startling truths, and I want to dive right into that. This story is out of Zero Hedge. It's entitled Leaked Document Reveals Amazon to Dump Office Space in Cost Cutting Move Amid Commercial Real Estate Tower Crisis. Now, if you don't know what's going on with the commercial real estate, it is imploding, and it is the reason the bank started failing last spring in 2023. There are so many vacant buildings and companies and pension funds are in such a crisis mode. To give you an example, uh, the largest teachers uh, pension fund in California just recently took a $20 billion loan out to simply pay, keep the payments going on its vacant investments of commercial real estate because they don't want to sell it at what they say is a fire sale. Now, Amazon, one of the largest companies on earth, has lots of buildings around the country, warehouses, office towers. They are having a hard time with these and they are going to start unloading them. And it's going to cause even more of a downturn, especially as stories like this hit the mainstream press. So here we go. Let's talk about these leaked documents. Um, readers are well aware of the office segment of the real estate sector that has been in turmoil over the past year with soaring vacancy rates a record amount of available sublease space and rising defaults. Again, this story is out of Zero Hedge. Cost-cutting strategies by major corporations will accelerate the office downturn. This will be in the form of lease expirations and or the early termination of leases. A document by Business Insider reveals that Amazon is trying to save $1.3 billion over the next three to five years. A, per a person familiar with the new strategy said the company plans to let certain leases naturally expire, stop the use of some office floors, and negotiate early lease terminations for some buildings. The person said Amazon's current office vacancy rate is 33.8%, but it expects it to drop to 25% by the end of the year and decrease to 10% over the next three to five years. Now, think about this. If they have a rosier picture where the vacancy rate goes from 33 eventually to 10 years, I'm sorry, to 10%, uh, why would Amazon be trying to negotiate early lease outs on these buildings? See, the truth is that Amazon knows that things are bad and they're going to turn worse, especially as the stock market turns downward and other asset classes turn downward and the American consumer continues to get squeezed through inflation. They know that sales are going to be down, vacancy rates are going to go higher, and that's why they're getting out right now. Now, on Tuesday, Business Insider reported that Amazon initiated another round of layoffs. This time it was 160 employees from its advertising unit extending its 18 months of job cuts. So this recent job cuts are very small compared to the real, the big picture with Amazon. The current high office vacancy rate is a direct result of slower growth and continued layoffs. Like Google, Meta, and many other tech companies, Amazon overhired in the run-up to and during COVID. Now the hiring cycle is reversing as artificial intelligence threatens white collar jobs. In an email to Business Insider, Brad Glassier, an Amazon spokesperson said, we're consi consistently evaluating our real estate portfolio based on the dynamic and diversity of Amazon's businesses by looking at trends in how employees are using our offices. In some cases, employees may move buildings to increase collaboration and drive better utilization of workspaces. In other cases, we may take additional space where we are currently limited or make adjustments where we have excess capacity. The changes we've already made are improving vacancy rates and expect to see further progress as we continue to learn and initiate on our portfolio. Let me explain what that is. That is a company that is trying to keep panic away from its shareholders. You see, as shareholders get wind of things that aren't looking very good for the company, they start to sell off the stock, the start stocks to uh, the stock goes down in price, and then Amazon is in the middle of a bed bad press cycle, and they don't want that. Now, Amazon is one of the many companies, it says, that has been shrinking its corporate footprint. Many other big tech firms have been slashing square footage as office space floods the market, pressuring tower values lower and leaving owners with a difficult decision to either refinance or default. 
And the refinancing right now in the commercial space is not an option. Why? Because rates are so much higher right now than they were nearly mere, a mere two years ago. So these companies cannot physically refinance because they cannot afford the much higher interest rates. Now, one week ago, Goldman told its clients that office commercial mortgage-backed securities were being extended and modified rather than refinanced. That's a nice way of saying that they're trying to hold off this collapse because it's really, really bad. Um, they helped mitigate a default wave and a sharp pickup in losses on CRE loan portfolios, but this only means the can is being kicked down the road until after the presidential elections. And I've got to be honest with you. I believe that you're seeing a complete implosion and they're trying to tape it together, staple it together, glue it together, but it's not going to hold. And I believe that by this summer, you're going to see massive, massive in your face, all over the news defaults in real estate. And it's going to be quite a 12 month process going into this next election cycle. I hope you guys got something out of this. Thank you so much for watching the economic ninja is out.